All right, I'm on my review, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Um, um, pale Ale is a complexly, completely natural ale brewed with the finest malted barley, whole cone hops, brewer's yeast, and pure water. Um, This gets a 92 by the bros on Beer Advocate, which is an exceptional score, and a 91, also an exceptional score by the rest of the site. Uh, it's 5.6 ABV. So, let's check it out. <clears throat> See that smoke? Okay, pretty nice looking head here. Um, about a good finger, you know, whitish, off-white head. Sticking around all right. Kind of hazy, um, but I can see through it enough to where I can see bubbles. But it's there's little fine particles in there. I can tell. Well, it's not entirely filtered. It's hazy. I can, as the beer, I can, as it moves, I can see the little, little, little particles move. All right. So it's not, and so not, it's not, it's not entirely filtered. So that's not bad. Okay. Let's see what it smells like. Is there any sediment? No. Okay. Maybe some hops. I'm not picking up a whole lot. Maybe some malted barley, but I can't really smell a whole lot here, so let's just go and taste it. Nice hops at the front. Has almost the the herbal, grassy kind of herb or er, er, herbal grassy kind of florally character of 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 IPA hops. So it has that it has that kind of character of a IPA, but this is not a IPA. Hops are all the way through the whole thing, from the beginning all the way through through the finish. See that lacing? The lacing is nice. Okay. It's not entirely aromatic at all. It's bready. It tastes bready and yeasty. I would say more yeasty. I would, I would buy six, six packs of this, honestly. The barley malt is small, but it's there. So it's pretty much, it's a, it's a kind of a complex flavor, but it's hops all the way through, where, where, wherever you taste anything else, to there, there's always hops. But it's not, it, the, 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 the IBU must be low. I mean, not low, but like mid-range, maybe. Maybe mid-range, maybe like, I don't know. Maybe 30, 40, something like that. No, it's not as bitter as a IPA, but the hops, you can taste the hops. It's not entirely as bitter, you know, or nothing, but you can, you can totally taste it. This would be like, um, if you like this, then you might like the, the, the IPAs. If you've never had a IPA, I would suggest trying this first. This would be a good... In, a good int introductory beer and you know, before having a IPA you know this this would be a good first thing to have mouthfeel the colors nice
it's light, but still has still is it's not thick or nothing, but it's still it's thicker than a than a lager, but it, you know it's not not as thick as you know a lot of ales are. Um, it's thicker, like like I said, it's thicker than a than a lager, but it's not really that thick at all. Drinkability is really high. Wow. Wonder how much a six, six pack of this is. Cause I got this in a mix and match yesterday. Um, I don't know. I gotta go with solid A. I mean, this is just really, really enjoyable. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I don't know. I I will definitely buy six packs of this. You know, this is just really, really nice. has to be one of the better beers I've had in my life. I think it could be argued that that, 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 that this is A+, plus, but this is a definitely yeah, I'm not, not going to go A+, plus just because, um, you know, I don't normally go that go that right. But this is just really enjoyable. It's really, really good. The taste is just really nice. Um, if you like pale ales, I mean, I think it's something something to, to try. If you, if you like If you like IPAs, you will definitely like this. This is like a IPA, but the but the but the IBU is much lower. Um, but you can still taste those those hops. You know, it's probably less grassy, less floral, less herbaly. You know, than the one of those one of those one of those IPAs are. But this is still something that you that you should probably try if you love IPAs or just ales in general. This is something you have to you have to you have to try.